Now that I have finished my Ludum Dare postmortem and also my exams, let's get back to Siege game. This video isn't about some new in-game feature, but rather a tool I created to fasten up development time. While I was thinking about the player's build system, I also had to think about the workflow of creating new voxel structures. You know, the ones which will be placed by the player at runtime. At first I wanted to over-engineer this problem, in pretty much all senses, but then I managed to restrain myself. First you have to create a voxel model in this little application called Goxel. I chose this because it's free, it's open source, and its output is easily parsable. Yeah, it could have more features, but it's still under development and it will be ok for a while. Every color you use in the model will be transformed into a separate Unity material, so color is basically just a unique material identifier. Now I just have to export it as a text file, drag it into Unity, select it and click Parse Voxel Structure into Prefab. And voila, there is our prefab with all the corresponding scripts attached and set. And here are the materials identified by the color as I said earlier. Now we can freely change the material's name, texture, shader or any other parameters as usual and our prefab will change. If you'd like to hear about how I designed and how I implemented this workflow, just let me know for example in the comment section. If you'd like to follow me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.